Full pedal, no gas. All right. It's amazing. Hey guys, we're here at the Fisker booth and you might remember them from the Fisker Carmen that came out a few years ago. That was a hybrid plug-in electric vehicle and it was pretty cool. It was pretty swift, pretty fast, but not that many people bought it. So the company didn't last very long, so it went under. But the guy who started Fisker, he went ahead and made this new Fisker. The Fisker Ocean is a part of the new Fisker company that uh, was put out. So the original Carmen was bought by uh, a nut Karma. The original Karma was bought and now there's a company called Karma making that car. So this new Fisker car is the Fisker Ocean. That's gonna be the first one produced and it's gonna come out in 2022, November. Now the entry level car is going to cost 37,499. That is an extremely valuable number because it's going to allow them to hit a very broad market. Unlike the first Carmen that came, they came out with, it was priced so high that not, to, not many people were able to buy into it. With this one, they're able to do more mass production. And it is a fantastic looking car. I mean, the specs on this, you could do 350 plus miles with the solar panel, it'll get you more than the 350 plus miles. In fact, they say it'll get you 1,500 to 2,500 more miles each year. And then the entry level car will put you in, it has 275 horsepower. 550 horsepower is saved for the top of the line model. And the, uh, the entry level one is the one that goes 250 miles. The Fisker Extreme also has 360 spatial audio within there and parking assist and all the safe features that all the cars today have. I mean, if your car doesn't have all these safe features, like cruise, you know, like the upper cruise control that almost feels like self-driving, they're, they're lagging at this point. But the Ultra and the Sport trim are also gonna be their popular trims. The Sport trim is their entry level trim. And the Sport trim goes zero to 60 within 6.7 seconds with a 20 inch wheelbase. The, <laughs> the Ultra and the uh, Extreme cars are going to have, those trim levels are going to have uh, 22 inch rims on them. It's gonna be amazing and they're really leaning into this uh, responsible car company narrative. They have the all recycled materials. So inside of it, you can get the carbon fiber, recycled carbon fiber on the outside and the recycled plastics and leatherettes on the inside. And the company that's building this car, in fact, is Magna Steyr. They are developing this in their uh, carbon neutral factory. So this car is really trying to make sure that they're not adding to the carbon footprint that other companies and manufacturers still do. So they're really putting their whole leg into this, into this attempt. And it's looking really great. I mean, it has a California mode in these cars where all the windows will open up. There's a slit in the back behind the passenger windows that opens up so that you can have your dog reach, like put its nose out there and have the wind blow and all that. You know how dogs do, but it is, really amazing and I'm loving these rims here because they're not like the other rims that I see in these other cars. Everyone, you know, jumps on a fad and they go with it, but this one actually does look like it's its own. Hmm, let's see. Recycle materials, blah, blah, blah. Infotainment screen. Ah, another thing that's pretty interesting about this car, I must say, I have not seen a car do this, is that the infotainment screen in the center, in the console there, it rotates. It will go from portrait mode to landscape mode. Now I'm told this only happens when it's parked, but it is still a really cool feature. If you like the Tesla, the Teslas that have their, theirs in landscape mode, but you, some days you want to put it in portrait, 
this car is gonna be able to do that. And the entry level for this car is extremely, extremely workable. A lot of people are gonna be able to get this and this is before incentives. That's the big thing. Now, when looking at the design of the car, at the top, it's a total glass roof from front to back. But half of the roof is able to slide backwards. It's the forward half. It will slide backwards to give you the feel of having a top down, you know, get the air in. And this car is designed in California. So it has that kind of California vibe where you want to be able to reach outside and just have the wind come in. So it's, it's a very nice design to it. And it's drawing a crowd. There are crowds, they come in waves. They'll come in, look at it, take their pictures, hang out there for 10, 15 minutes, just checking out the car. Now this, what you're seeing here, is their new skateboard platform. A lot of the EV companies are finding it a lot easier to just build out the platform for the undercarriage, where the battery is stored, the motors hang, the tires are held on, and putting other bodies onto them that way. But this is Fisker's first car. They're looking to use this towards the future for other uh, offerings. But I, I have to say, it's pretty nice. It keeps everything low to the ground, low center of gravity, which is the plus of having these giant batteries in there. And it gives you a smooth ride. You have the motor here in orange, and that is up front and in the back. And you can get a lot of power out of these cars with those two motors. In fact, the entry level car, which will have one motor, will have a horsepower amount of 275 horsepower. The highest tier version you can get will have 550 horsepower. So you get a nice bit of range, but even the entry level car does give you a lot for the money you're getting because you're getting it sub $38,000. So you're getting 275 horsepower and all of the features that they're packing in there, it's a nice, it's a nice, decent amount that you're getting there. And you see how this rotates to Hollywood mode. The TV is showing you what the infotainment system does when you're inside your car and parked. You're able to switch the orientation of the screen, which is really cool, I, I gotta admit. But the issue I have is that I would probably sit there and do it over and over again to where I would need to replace it. But knowing Fisker, they use quality products so it would be able to handle my uh, proclivities, you know? And looking at the suspension there, the coils and everything, it's, it looks like it's just going to have a really nice ride at the end of the day. And the battery does seem big enough to handle their uh, supposed 380 miles. And then you add in the, uh, some trims are gonna have the option to add in the, the solar power. Once you add that into it, you're just gonna keep going and going and going. So I, uh, this thing does look like it has a lot of potential and it will be moving really soon. So this time next year, orders should be filling out and being sent out. We'll be able to see what these cars are able to do once they're in our hands. And I have high hopes for this car. It looks fantastic and it has a lot of things that are creature comforts for the average consumer. And it seems forward thinking. So this is, this is gonna be one to look out for. This is my prediction. I'm still deciding. My heart is with the Ford Mustang Mach-E, but after seeing the Fisker and the entry point is a few thousand dollars uh, lower than the entry level Mach-E, I think they're gonna be able to pull a lot of different people and it has a premium feel to it. This thing, I'm looking at it, I'm seeing the pictures, I'm seeing what they have to offer and knowing the history of this company or the owner, it's going to deliver. I have no doubts about it. So keep your eyes open. The Fisker Ocean One. They're only making a limited amount for the initial uh, onset, putting them out. It's gonna look fantastic. Check it out.